Hey everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We have another Fashion Friday today. If you're new here, I'm Deanna Lee. Today I put together my fall lookbook. I have a ton of outfits for you guys and I grouped them by casual outfits as well as more dress up outfits. So I will have the timestamps on screen here so you know where each of those sections are. As well, I will also have chapters in the description for each outfit as well as links to everything I can link and very similar pieces when the exact items are not available. So make sure to check those links down below. Of course, if you like this video and wanna see more of my content, be sure to hit the like so I know and subscribe for more, I would love to have you. If you didn't catch my fall trends video from two weeks ago, go ahead and catch that one. I'm going to be styling a handful of those trends in this video, weaving them into my personal style and showing you kind of how I would do that. But without further ado, let's get into the massive amount of outfits I have planned for you today. Okay, so I'm starting off with something that I find to be super comfortable, but also very stylish and also timeless at the same time. So I have this really soft, cozy sweater from Princess Polly that I've been loving. I like the contrast of the light wash jeans with the black sweater, and I'm pairing it with my pointed toe booties that I showed in my Fall Trends video, as well as my leather bomber, which I also mentioned is having a moment. We of course have our chunky gold hoops, which I have on in pretty much every outfit in this video because they really are a huge trend right now, and I just love how they elevate any look. So for outfit number two, again, we have something very comfortable and casual, but still very put together. This is very much a clean girl outfit in my opinion. The little bolero tube set is very much that vibe, but I find the clean girl aesthetic just like kind of works on everybody when you don't know what to wear and you want to look put together. I opted for a more low profile sneaker here. It does still have a platform, which I like, but kind of less chunky shoes are more in now. And this little jacket from Amazon, you guys, is the softest thing in the world. I love it. Outfit number three is very similar to the last one. We have the same jeans, but I wanted to showcase this top because I've been seeing a lot of them. This very beautiful sweetheart neckline that's inspired by free people. And I love playing with the contrast between the light outfit and the dark bomber and then the light purse on top. I think it just adds that nice pop of color and I love playing around with contrast in my outfits. Of course, everything I can link, I will have linked down in the description for you below, but I will also link similar items when I can't find the exact one. This next outfit, we have another very basic but still elevated look. We're really playing into the accessories here. We have one of those body skimming tops that I mentioned in my fall trends video, layering on this brown puffer. I also mentioned that I've been loving the combination of brown and black for fall, and I'm noticing other creators are doing the same. And we have our ultra mini puffer Uggs, as well as some low to mid-rise jeans. The very timeless pieces but still on trend right now and these sunnies from amazon you guys are amazing they're so affordable but look designer I wanted to include an exercise outfit here because I wanted this to be a lookbook for all areas of life. So I have my little gym earrings on here as well as this beautiful top from Crop Shop Boutique. Um, this is my first purchase from them and I love it. I did get the matching leggings, but I had to return them because they run so small, you guys. But it's just such a flattering neckline and it really is a nice elevated basic in my opinion, especially for when you're working out. So throwing on the puffer, of course, for modesty and warmth as you're traveling to the gym, but it's just... I love feeling cute when I work out because <laughs> then I go a little harder. All right, this next outfit is actually inspired by a Delaney Child outfit that I saw. I'll post the picture here of the outfit I was inspired by. I don't have a jumpsuit, but I kind of wore a bodysuit and leggings to mock the look of a jumpsuit, and I think it works really well without having to buy another piece. And of course, I'm pulling my leg warmers down over my Uggs and kind of using the sandwich method here with the little bolero, so we have that white and black action. And I think this is just so cute and casual, perfect for like throwing on after Pilates when you're grabbing coffee with the girls or something like that. Okay, so I did find a Skims dress that comes in a petite length. I am so happy that I found this. I love this chocolatey brown color. It's such a good color on me and it's such a good color for fall. I wasn't really sure what shoes to wear with the Skims dress, but I felt like the Uggs gave it a very cozy vibe. So this is a more casual look, but I feel like you'd still wear it out if you wanted to. And yeah, I'm just loving it paired with this Bolero. It's just such a cozy, but very sleek look. I wanted to challenge myself to style it in some new ways since it is a new piece for me. I'm not used to maxi dresses, so I've been loving seeing other creators kind of tie up their sweatshirts or their sweaters over the Skims dress. So I tried that here and I have my very Bratz doll <laughs> platform heels on. These boots are so cute and they just match the sweater and the purse perfectly. So again, we have that sandwich effect. I just love this. 
Okay, another trend I decided to play around with was the maxi to midi denim skirt. I did rent this on Fashion Pass so that I don't have to commit to this trend, but I wanted to play around with it for this video. So here I just paired it with this lovely square neck top and of course my pop of red handbag for fall 2023. We all have our little pops of red. I have my sunnies on again. Just throwing on this jacket totally changed the vibe in my opinion and made it feel a lot more like me. So I loved this look. It was a little baggy on baggy, but I think with this neckline it kind of works. And of course we have my little pointed toe booties on as well. I do have a code for Fashion Pass by the way if you want to try out some styles. It's just my name, Deanna Lee. And this look, I wanted to lean into kind of some of the boho elements that we're seeing. I feel like the denim maxi is very boho to me, so I have this little vintage belt that was actually my mom's. And of course, the sweater that we're all loving right now, this fold over sweater. Mine is from Abercrombie, but it's a little old, but I did find some very similar ones that I will link below. But yeah, just adding touches of bohemian elements to otherwise basic outfits is very in right now. This was my favorite of the denim maxi outfits. I wanted to, again, challenge myself to style this a few ways since it was kind of new for me. But again, I love the contrast of a lighter to mid wash denim with black. There's just something amazing about it. And this sweater, I just love the balloon sleeves and everything. I did thrift this. Um, it's extremely high quality. I do recommend you thrift your sweaters when you can. This outfit, again, I have that little bohemian touch with this belt. I'm noticing a lot of statement belt hit stores, um, so I just wanted to play around. These are actually both my mom's. This one is also my mom's. Um, throwing on the leather bomber, of course, because it's fall and we want to be warm, and that little pop of red came back. I think this outfit is very basic, but also the textures kind of contrast each other, which creates a little bit of interest. So that's kind of what I was going with here. I get a lot of questions on this t-shirt. It is from Reformation, but I bought it on Poshmark to save a ton of money. So I definitely recommend you do the same. It is the Bardot top. Okay, this outfit was actually in my first ever YouTube video, but I loved it so much that I wanted to include it again. Of course, we have the off the shoulder top, which is very in right now. We have the pairing of these amazing Steve Madden boots with a little micro mini skirt and the little neck accessory. This outfit is a little bit of the dark romance trend that I mentioned in my last video. This is actually a slip skirt that I thrifted from the lingerie sleepwear section of Savers, um, but it looks perfectly fine as an everyday midi skirt. I love it. And this sweater I've had for years and years. It's from Forever 21 and the quality is so amazing for the price. Honestly, they have some really good high quality pieces, but this just felt very chic, very put together, but also very comfortable and modest. If you've made it this far, I love you. Be sure to hit the like and let me know which outfit you're loving the best. Okay, so I feel like this outfit is definitely the most playful out of all of them. We have our off the shoulder top, of course. We have our little red handbag, which is really bringing out the red in the skirt. I love the pop of gold that this belt gives, as well as the boots paired with the skirt, of course, and our little rosette necklace, which are still trending, which I love. I think they're just so romantic and cute. This is a very playful outfit. I feel like you could really wear this out to dinner. I had to give this dress a moment because I love her and I wanted to style her in a way I could wear for fall so I threw on my favorite chunky turtleneck sweater from Abercrombie and I tied it up in the back to make my legs look a little longer. I didn't realize the sweater tail was hanging out, my bad, <laughs> but I love pairing white and brown together. It's almost like a cookies and cream vibe which I love and I just think they're flattering colors on me personally and with the white boots they just make such a nice statement whereas like this outfit is very simple but with the very elegant white boots and the silk skirt. I think it just looks super elevated while also looking simple and timeless. So I always love an all black outfit no matter the season but especially in the colder months so I had to include one here. I've been loving this skirt from Halara. I do have a discount code with them which I'll have below but it's just so adorable. It almost reminds me of Sailor Moon in the way it fits but the skirt is nice and modest which I love. I love it over these tights and these boots and of course with the pop of red. It gives a little color to an otherwise obviously black outfit and I just think there's something so chic about that of a monochrome outfit with a pop of something else. This has been one of my favorite fall outfits right now. This skirt is from Abercrombie. I just got it. It is a skirt and it's the perfect length. It will never reveal you. It's not too short or anything like that. I love it. And this sweater, I love these funnel neck turtlenecks. I find them to be very elongating for people who are short like me. And just throwing a jacket like this over a chunky knit is such a vibe this year, especially with the boots. So we have that big top little bottom effect that I also talked about in my last video. Just overall a great minimal timeless look. 
This next look, I wanted to style again more black and brown. So we have this dark espresso brown top from Amanda of Richard that I love. I also got this on Fashion Pass, but I ended up purchasing it because I loved it so much. It snatches you like crazy. I have that same sport from Abercrombie because it really just goes with everything and throwing on a bolero for warmth. Okay, obviously this is basically the same outfit, but I felt like it needed to be more of like a nighttime date outfit. So I forwent the sunglasses, I got rid of them, and I opted for these heels that I clearly cannot balance in. <laughs> I just wore these to a wedding and they were so hard to dance in, but they are just so timeless and classic. Okay, I mentioned this in my last video, but Fran Fine and the Nanny has been influencing me lately. <laughs> so this was very much influenced by her. I feel like I could totally see her wearing this. I opted for a skirt with a slit with this look because it felt a little sexier, more of like a night out look. And this sweater, you guys, is just adorable. Again, we have the contrast of brown and black. For a little more modesty, you could of course wear a tank top underneath or button it all the way up, but I kind of liked it with a little bit of skin poking out. For this next trend, I wanted to play around with the Meredith Blake trend that I mentioned in my last video, which I'm also kind of calling this like 90s elevated minimalism. I don't know how to explain it, but there's a certain vibe that this captures that I just love. It's very timeless, but also vintage at the same time. And the contrast of the white skirt, just again letting that white skirt speak against the otherwise black outfit is just so chic in my opinion, and I love it. I wanted to turn this top into kind of like an off-the-shoulder top. It's a surplus top from Abercrombie, but I just kind of pulled it off the shoulder, which is honestly a little intense on me since I do have such broad shoulders, but it's just another take on the off-the-shoulder trend and showing that you can kind of play around in your closet with what you already have to try to find something new. I love a pleather skirt for fall, and I just thrifted this coat, which was such a good find. Again, another great piece to thrift are your coats and your jackets. This is wool, and it just fits perfectly. It has the perfect skirted effect, and I felt like when it was closed, it was an outfit all on its own, so that's why I counted it as one, but it's so timeless and chic. I just loved it so, so much. I wanted to style my favorite dress one more time because I just love it so much, and I again went with that black and brown. I just think it's very in for fall right now. I'm seeing a lot of influence kind of play around with that and this little handbag I'm also renting on fashion pass these little quilted designs are so in right now and it's just a nice elevated basic for fall and that is everything you guys I do have a part two on the way so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and like this video so you know when that comes out I hope you have a beautiful day everything will be linked down below and thank you so so much for watching